Hi, welcome to Z Gadget Review. Before we get into it, I want to address. <coughs> yes, I know it's there. Let's just pretend that we cannot see it. Samsung had an event today called Unbox and Discover. Samsung's event today focused on their different screens that they have out in the market or they're about to bring into the market. There were a few new announcements and there were also some confirmations on things that they already have out in the market. So let's get into it. So at first they talked about the frame. If you're not familiar with what the frame is, this is uh, Samsung's TV that you can literally put a frame around. The TV is thin enough to hang on the wall. Technically that is how it's supposed to be. So it looks like a picture frame in your house. Now it is an interesting concept. It is kind of like uh, the OLED the LG G1, which goes into your wall. The difference between this and the LG TV is that the LG TV literally has no frames. The thing goes against your wall, so it looks like it's part of the wall. Versus this, I make it more of a TV that looks like a picture frame in your home. One of the updates to the frame TV is that they're going to increase the storage space. The storage space is going to go up from 500 megabytes to 6 gigabytes because it seems, according to Samsung, people love to display their pictures on the TV. I don't understand this <laughs> because, look, I love my family and seeing their pictures and stuff like that, but to have their images displayed all the time on my TV, it isn't something that I'm really looking for, but I guess there's a lot of people who are, which is why they increase the storage space to six gigabytes. Why? One of the new additions to the Frame TV, which actually I think is a really cool change, makes this TV more useful, let's say, than other TVs, is they've added something called the shelf. As you can see, is you can build a shelving around the TV within that frame space. So the TV looks like it's part of this shelf space. You can do it with a 55 inch TV, 65 inch TV, 75 inch TV. It's going to come into colors which is white and beige. Well lucky for you I'm doing this video right now because I can tell you what the pre-order pricing is for the Frame 2021 TV if you are interested in getting this TV. The 43 inch is going to cost $1,000 actually to be exact $999.99. So I'm going to be rounding up all these prices. The next step up is 50 inches, which is $1,300. After that is 55 inches for $1,500. The next one is 65 inches for $2,000. And then 75 inches for $3,000. Of course, this TV, because it's meant to be mounted on the wall, they have to make it as thin as they can make it. So this TV will ship with the One Connect box. The One Connect box house all the connections that you need for the TV. This TV is going to be a 4K QLED TV. It's also going to use Samsung's Quantum 4K processor. This will be one of the TVs that ships with Samsung's new solar remote. All of these TVs are set to ship on March 18th, except for the 55 inch, which is March 25th, and the 75 inch, which is April 8th. After that, I spoke about the Serif. Yes, the Serif, which takes its name from the font Serif. They didn't say much about this TV. All they said was that the TV is very popular and that people love to make it their own. They showed a bunch of Instagram posts about the TV and then they kind of moved on because I'm not going to shortchange you in this video. If you are interested on the Serif and the little bit that you've seen of that TV, I'm going to give you some information on it. The Serif is a 4K QLED TV on Samsung's website now. You can buy the 43 inch for $1,000 or the 55 inch for $1,500. After that, they moved on to the zero. And the zero is not, not to be confused with that zero, zero, S-E-R-O. It's a TV that you can either have like this or you can flip it to have it like this. And the whole point of the TV is marketed towards uh, millennials or Gen Z population who wants to use the TV to not only watch regular TV content, 
but also watch online content when they flip the TV vertically. One of the announcements from Samsung relating to the Zero, and I guess using the Zero as a prime example of why it's so important, is that they're bringing TikTok to Samsung TVs. So if you're a big TikTok person, you'll be able to watch TikTok soon in any of your TVs. But if you are one of the coolest people around, you will be able to do it on your Zero. The Zero actually isn't a new TV. This TV is around. They just used it to show off, you know, their uh, prowess. And I guess rub it into LG that they can make a successful swivel device when LG can't. As I've been giving you information on those other TVs, I'm gonna give you information on this TV too. So the Zero is a 43 inch 4K QLED TV. One of the cool things about this TV though is that it comes with a 4.1 60 watt channel speaker which supports Dolby Digital Plus. And this TV right now on Samsung's website is $1,700. It, uh, when it came out was $2,000. Now it's $1,700 for a 43 inch TV LED TV, why would you spend that much? But the price comes because you can swivel the thing around. And then they brought up the fact that most people have been stuck at home not being able to go to movie theaters. So they talked about the Premiere, which is their laser short throw projector. They talked about the fact that it has triple laser technology, which should give you better 4K images. They talked about how a short projector obviously allows you to put it really close to the wall and to have the image projected directly into the wall if you don't want to buy a gigantic projector that you have to hang on the ceiling and have the whole screen and the whole shebang you can buy one of these projectors the projectors are on sale in samsung's website right now and i'm going to go ahead and give you the price for that so the projector comes in two models they have the up to 120 inch projector which is the premier lsp 7 t and that one is $3,500 and then they have the projector that can give you up to 130 inches picture size and that's going to be the Premiere LSP 9T and that's going to be $6,500. After that, they spoke about Samsung's Thateras. This TV, as the name says, it is a TV that's made to be outdoors so you can have it hanging on a wall or on a stand and the whole TV is made to withstand the elements. It has an IPS 55 rating for water and dust. The update on the TV for this year, which they say will be launching just in time for the summertime, the Thateras with sun protection, which which means that the TV is going to have a higher brightness. So when you're watching the TV directly under the sun, you'll be able to see the image without having to struggle. As you know, if you've ever tried to watch TV outside and the sun is really bright, as they say here, especially in the summertime, it, the image is really hard to see. This is supposed to take care of all those things. Now we can get an idea of what the Terrace TV will cost, the new sun version which is uh, based on what they're saying, that 75 inch version of the TV. Right now you can actually buy that terrace without the sun protection. And the prices for those TVs are 55 inches, 34.99, 65 inches, 49.99, and the 75 inch is going to be 64.99. Then they spoke about Samsung's Neo QLED. Uh, there's a wealth of information about Samsung's Neo QLED. That is Samsung's mini LED TVs. As you've seen, I've made plenty of videos. I will link some of those videos in the description section if you need more information on pricing and what mini LED is. Just one of the things that they talked about um, at this event about Samsung's Neo QLED is that it's the official partner for the Xbox Series X console. And finally, Samsung talked a little more about their micro LED TVs and confirmed when we can start seeing some of these TVs in the market. Starting with their 99 inch and 110 inch micro LED TVs that will be made available at the end of March. They have an 88 inch coming in the fall and they're working on a 76 inch micro LED TV to come out sometime soon. That I will take to mean that it's probably going to be towards the end of the year, probably sometime next year. But this means that micro LED technology will finally 
be in sizes that most people can fit into their home. I will say an 88-inch, 76-inch TV is something that you can manage in an average size home, but I don't think that the prices are going to be anywhere where you will be able to, you know, go and buy one. I think these TVs are going to be super expensive. Just to give you an example, I did a video on an unfoldable micro LED TV, which you can see here or in the description section. It's going to cost $400,000. I would recommend you to go look at that video to get an idea of what you can expect with micro LED TVs. What do you think about Samsung's event? Are there any of these TVs that you are planning on getting? Did you know that they had all these TVs available for you to choose from? Let me know in the comment section. That's it for me. Go ahead and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Go ahead and hit that bell so you can be alerted every time we have new videos. And thank you very much for watching.